Hello viewers and welcome to intriguing episode of Hollywood Histories. In today's video, we'll be delving into the smoky side of the silver screen as we explore the 10 worst smokers in Hollywood history. So, without further ado, let's dive into the video. Number 1. William Tallman William Tallman, best known for his role as District Attorney Hamilton Berger on the classic television series Perry Mason, was a heavy smoker throughout his career. Unfortunately, his love for cigarettes caught up with him when he was diagnosed with lung cancer in the early 1960s. Despite undergoing surgery to remove a cancerous lung, Tallman succumbed to the disease in 1968 at the age of 53. Number 2. Yul Brynner The legendary actor Yul Brynner, famous for his roles in The King and I and The Magnificent Seven, was another Hollywood star played by a smoking habit. Brynner smoked heavily for most of his life, and this addiction played a significant role in his death from lung cancer in 1985. Even in the face of his own mortality, Brynner became an anti-smoking advocate, filming a powerful anti-smoking public service announcement shortly before his death. Number 3. Bette Davis The iconic Bette Davis, known for her strong and captivating performances in films like All About Eve and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, was an avid smoker throughout her life. Davis struggled with health issues related to her smoking habit, including a mastectomy and a stroke. She eventually succumbed to breast cancer in 1989, leaving behind a legacy of brilliant performances and a cautionary tale about the dangers of smoking. Number 4. Humphrey Bogart Humphrey Bogart, the epitome of classic Hollywood cool, was rarely seen without a cigarette in hand. The star of timeless films like Casablanca and The Maltese Falcon, Bogart's rugged on-screen persona was mirrored by his off-screen smoking habit. Tragically, Bogart's lifestyle caught up with him when he died of esophageal cancer in 1957 at the age of 57. Number 5. Lana Turner Lana Turner, the glamorous actress known for her roles in films like The Postman Always Rings Twice and Peyton Place, was a heavy smoker throughout her career. Turner's smoking habit contributed to her declining health, and she eventually died of throat cancer in 1995 at the age of 74. Her glamorous image on screen was, unfortunately, at odds with the health struggle she faced due to her smoking addiction. Number 6. Errol Flynn The swashbuckling Hollywood icon Errol Flynn, celebrated for his roles in adventure films like The Adventures of Robin Hood, was also notorious for his excessive smoking and drinking. Flynn's hard partying lifestyle took a toll on his health, and he passed away at the age of 50 in 1959, with heart failure attributed to his vices. His charismatic on-screen presence was coupled with a self-destructive off-screen lifestyle that included heavy smoking. Number 7. Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr., the multi-talented entertainer known for his contributions to the Rat Pack and his success in music, film, and television, was a longtime smoker. Despite battling throat cancer and undergoing surgery, Davis Jr. continued to smoke, contributing to his eventual demise in 1990 at the age of 64. Number 8. Amanda Blake Amanda Blake, best remembered for her role as Kitty Russell on the long-running television series Gunsmoke, struggled with a smoking addiction that affected her health. Blake, a heavy smoker for much of her life, was diagnosed with oral cancer, which ultimately led to her death in 1989 at the age of 60. Her tragic story serves as a cautionary tale about the devastating consequences of smoking. Number 9. Lucille Ball Lucille Ball, one of the most beloved and iconic figures in television history, was a smoker for many years. Ball, famous for her role in the groundbreaking sitcom I Love Lucy, faced health issues related to her smoking habit. Although she quit smoking later in life, Ball's history with cigarettes may have contributed to the respiratory problems she experienced in her later years. She passed away in 1989 at the age of 77. Number 10. Clark Gable Clark Gable, often referred to as the King of Hollywood, was a suave and debonair leading man known for his roles in classics like Gone with the Wind. Gable was a heavy smoker, and his addiction likely played a role in his untimely death at the age of 59 due to a heart attack in 1960. The charismatic actor, admired for his rugged charm, was unable to escape the health consequences of his smoking habit. And there you have it, folks, the 10 worst smokers in Hollywood history. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up, 
and let us know in the comments which Hollywood smoking story surprised you the most. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.